I I was triggered earlier. It's a triggering time. Um, so I just want to be really direct. I'm kind of over dancing around things, and I I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about it. Um, so one of the healers in my community, um, who is a light skinned brown woman, uh, went online today. Um, and talking about nonviolence and and all lives matter. And I just cannot wrap my mind around how harmful. I mean, that's not true. I can wrap my mind around. That's harmful. This is harmful to black people, continually harmful to black people and harmful to the fact and gaslighting to the fact that Black people are unequivocally being straight up murdered, murdered, and y'all know that, I'm sorry for rehashing the trauma, but here's the thing. If you are a healer, especially if you are a light-skinned healer, if you are a white healer, if you are um, somebody who is about healing, then you need to understand, and you should be understanding, that in order to heal, you have to witness. In order to heal, you have to witness attention. Love is just attention. Witnessing is attention. So for some healers to be like, no, it's all about love is missing the point. It's missing the history. Okay, so I was, I am so fucking grateful that I was raised by a mother who is a Chicana freedom fighter who um, went to, she told me today, she's like, every time Stokely would come speak, Stokely Carmichael, I would go see him. I love him. And he said, it isn't what you think it is. It is what it is. My mother quoting Stokely Carmichael, um, freedom fighter in the Black Panther movement back in the day. Um, it is what it is. And what it is, is violence out there. What it is, is unequivocal violence toward black bodies in the United States of America. And for you as a healer, for anyone as a healer, especially to come and be like, oh no, love and light is bypassing. It is spiritual bypassing. It is gaslighting to the experiences of people that you have no idea what they are going through, what it is like. Um, for you to be questioning rioting right now with everything going on how is that healing the people who need it most right now so i'm gonna make a few things clear i'm all about healing i am i am a healer okay a healer and one of my teachers is like i'm trying to read this one of my teachers is like um Foo in the background with me saying yeah mijito está en el baño con in the bathtub with his daddy's friend um, one of my teachers was like, I have, I've had a lot of different teachers say a lot of different things. One of the reasons I, you won't find me like unequivocally running in ceremonial spaces and in spiritual spaces is because I personally, as a, um, a human who is a vessel of healing, who comes from a social justice background, um, who comes from ceremony ways who was raised in a marginalized neighborhood with marginalized people as a poor ass Mexican in my understanding of who I was. It wasn't until I was older that I realized I had light skin privilege because my upbringing, it wasn't a privilege at all. People were fucking mean to me. Um, that's a whole other story. But right now I understand where I stand. I understand my place and I understand that I am a bridge from being raised in these ways and presenting as I am to bring social justice to people, to be like, yo, that's not okay, right? So aside, I'm, I'm the bitch who's gonna do the emotional labor for you, okay? So if y'all are white people, if y'all are brown people or black people who are tired of explaining to white people, send them to me. That's how I'm going to be using my privilege. I will be the emotional labor. I will do that. I will do that. And I will charge you accordingly. Or um, we could talk about it. But but if you need emotional labor, my, my fellow people of color, especially black gente, if you need emotional labor, send them to me. Okay? Um, as healers, we can't just 
feel like, oh, love and light, we're only going to heal by love because that is not full. Um, as an exorcist, as somebody who has literally seen demons inside other people talking all kinds of crazy shit, um, that shit doesn't just go away. Like, you can love it, but you have to give it a space to express itself. You have to go, let it go somewhere. You have to put it somewhere, okay? So, as far as riot, rioting goes, um, what I don't give a fuck about your capitalist patriarchy, okay? Loot a motherfucking target, I don't care. Um, burn some shit, yes, thank you. It's about time, okay? How I feel about precincts. My mom told me today, don't, whatever, okay. Um, I digress. Great spirit. Let me be very clear. We are only going to heal if we allow a safe place for our rage to be present. We are going to repress the rage and cause more problems for people who are experiencing the greatest atrocities of mankind in their faces in real time over and over again if we do not give voice to this rage. And... This rage is righteous as fuck, okay? So on my healing table, when people start telling me all of their things, I'm like, all right, you could, you could do this in a way that isn't harmful to yourself and others. Um, but then there's a whole other hood-ass part of me that's like, hell yeah, fuck some shit up. And I'm, I'm both, okay? I am I'm all about the and. Um, we need to witness things. We need to hold, hold space. For the rage um so if you are a healer specifically if you are a white person or a light-skinned person who has no fucking inkling clue like myself about what it is to live in a black body do not talk about what black bodies need to be doing right now that is not your place do not love and light everything so i started saying one of the reasons you won't find me staying and and super guess about any spiritual community is because so many people are not fully holding all of the implications of what it is to be a healer in this time right the fact that the history of the united states of america is one of white supremacy is one of genocide is one of colonialism is one of slavery is one of super duper rape is one of theft um is one of just torture atrocities uh, especially in the medical industry, especially like the, the stories I was hearing about one of a, a homegirl who worked in the profiteering industry, this old money that comes from cotton, that comes from guns, that comes from all this stuff. Uh, and you're going to tell a black person not to be mad? This isn't healing. This isn't love. This isn't godly. That's... Um, that your privilege is showing. Your privilege is showing. And it's not okay. It's not okay for you. All lives matter is not a thing right now. Duh, of course we all matter. But for you to say that in light of the, specifically the atroc atrocities that are deliberate and out in the open and not in any way, uh, questionable for you to say that now is gaslighting and harmful okay especially in the healer community especially in the healer community um healing looks like holding space for the rage healing looks like honoring the fucked up history and this isn't just for other people who aren't you this is for you so I'm going to further go, me being um, <laughs> snapping fingers not to sprain my thumb, um, me being this Chicana in this light skin body, um, having the experience I've had, um, and being a healer who's treated a lot of white people, we know white people are sick as fuck too, right? Like, it didn't just hurt the, the slave, it didn't just hurt the, the raped natives, it didn't just hurt, um, yeah, that's who it was done to, but to dehumanize someone, you have to dehumanize yourself. 
So for all of you white people who are the descendants of slave owners, who are the descendants of um, fucking Manifest Destiny murderers, um, and black people and indigenous people and mixed blood people like myself, we also have white blood in us, right? How many, like, the reason why colorism exists is because white people was raping everybody, all right? So we have to heal that broken human who did the raping too, guys. We have to heal all of our inside shit. We have to heal the colonizer in us. So for us to be like, this is all love, healing is love, to me says that you're not fully healed because you can't have compassion for the rage place of the wounded one, which of which we all are. We are wound, anybody who would murder somebody is a wounded ass motherfucker who also needs healing and rage is to be had by all for the atrocity itself. Okay, so bypassing looks like not honoring the dark shit. The dark shit exists and it fucks, all right? So for us to be like, oh, let's not look at it. Let's just heal love and light. It's missing and it's harmful. It is, haven't, haven't black people been harmed enough without this love and light bullshit you try and sprinkle on us, on everybody? Okay, this love and light is not enough right now. Justice needs to be served. Okay, and those of us who have privilege, light-skinned privilege, who have white privilege, who have money resources, who have voices in communities, um, who have people who trust you to heal them, have to be talking decolonial, break down the systems of oppression, or else you're just flouncing around with some freaking, ooh, I hate you. That's not real, okay? And same, same thing, like, I can't tell you how many healer people, teachers that I love have had. It's like beautiful humans who are doing this prayer work, right? But it's like, but if you don't address what's happening in the third dimension material realm, you're still sick. You can't keep up the same diet and heal. You can't stay in that abusive relationship and heal. It doesn't matter how much you pray about it, okay? That's why the protesters are necessary, okay? Because shit doesn't change without physical realm work here in the third dimension. And that looks like demanding justice. Okay, and this, and if, if you're just light, 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 you haven't read history. My mother's a historian. My grandfather, my abuelito, Alfredo Vasquez, was the man who said yes to Cesar Chavez when he had the idea to have the UFW. My grandfather, who is a Mexican from El Paso, well, the, we didn't cross the border, the border crossed us, you got, y'all know, um, who had light eyes, uh, who was a Spanish-speaking man, who was probably about my complexion, went undercover as the mole because they didn't think he could speak English. And he was the one to be able to tell the protesters or the, the huelga, the strikers, how to maneuver. He was a strategist in the UFW, okay? So we need to be using our privileges uh, to dismantle the white supremacist patriarchy and not uh, in, what's it, freaking demonizing the very righteous anger of those who are oppressed, all right? That's just not complete. So I ask you, and maybe this person's reading it, I love you, you're a beautiful human, and that was full of privilege, and it was full of love, yes, love, but you can't fully love someone if you don't honor where they're at. Like when your kid falls and hurts themselves, do you go, oh, you're fine, without being like, oh, I'm sorry that hurt you so. Like really like seeing like the pain that someone exists in is part of the healing. Okay, but saying like, don't cry, don't rage from watching your, your people die, 
Uh, that is not helpful. That's just not, that's just not helpful. Okay, that's just not helpful. So I think I'm done ranting. I know everybody's probably been ranting recently and it's a thing and you're probably tired of hearing it and seeing it, but like, talk about it. You know, talk about this. When you get fucking mad about shit, you should talk about it. And you know what? I'm gonna tell you, I'm trying, I'm trying to look at all my things here. Justice is the protector of the light. Thank you for saying that. Um, when we are uh, when we are full in our healing place, we understand that the, there's a place for the darkness and that shit needs to be expressed. So don't express the darkness is a non-healed place. Does that make sense? I love you too, Prima. Okay, orale pues. Thank you for watching. Many blessings. Um, yeah, do your work. Uh, also, all of my black friends, um, my brown friends, all of you, you who are tired of doing the labor, send them to me. Okay, tell me how I can help be an educator and use my light skin privilege to um, educate those who need to be educated. Okay, many blessings. Bye-bye.